Hello everyone, this is Yogendra Nayak from Vinny Immigration. Most of the people generally ask me questions, can I move out of the province which has nominated me? If yes, then how can I move out and how long should I wait for it? In this video, I'll give you a better clarity about your mobility rights after you get your PR from provincial nomination. If you are on this video or if you are on this channel for the first time, I would suggest you hit like and subscribe this channel so that you can get updated with all the upcoming trends. So let's start all the way from the beginning. Once you land in Canada with the document COPR, which is called Confirmation of PR, that does not imply that you are a permanent resident yet. If the immigration official at the airport finds out any discrepancies or contradiction or you don't have sufficient document, they could deny your entry. One such reason for your denial could be your misrepresentation or doubtful intention of staying in that province which has nominated you. So generally, once you land in the airport, officials are going to ask you uh, where you are going to reside once you are exiting this airport. And if you say that I'm going to reside with my family member or a friend which who is staying in another province, they will directly deny your entry and ask to leave Canada then and there. So the official will deny your entry on the grounds of misrepresentation and they would know that you never intended to stay in that province which has nominated you which will further impact your re-entry in the Canada for the next five years even on visitor visa. Apart from that, if you're getting a PR through express entry in which a federal skill worker category, federal skill trade category or CC category, you can stay or move to any province in the Canada which is mentioned in their mobility rights in section six of Canadian Charter of rights and freedom. So now coming back to our main topic, can we move out of the province which has nominated us? So when you get a nomination from a province, you have to express your intent to stay in that province and contribute towards its economy by signing an undertaking or a declaration form. To be honest, it's your moral and ethical duty in order to, uh, in order to contribute towards the economy of your nominating province. There are certain limitations for the people or individual who have got their nominations through a PNP. As per the law, there is nowhere written that what exactly is the limited duration of time you have to stay in that province. But if you get your PR and soon after that you are planning to migrate or migrate to a different province, or that province which has nominated you can ask IRCC to revoke your PR on grounds of misrepresentation which shows that and it clearly indicates that that you have never intended to stay in that province. So what can we do about it? So you have to be very very strategic about your migration from the nominating province to the other province. Talking about strategic or uh, talking about strategy which you have to imply here is first of all, you have to show your intent was good. It means that like once you're going towards uh, in a particular province, you have to say that okay, I have stayed this many amount of time, I have stayed minimum of let's say one year in that province and I have utilized each and every government facilities which they have provided me and still I'm not able to find a suitable job or alternatively you can show them that uh, even though you have in this province for a very long time and you're still surviving on your survival jobs you can show them your rejections refusal letters and stating that you have uh, given your efforts to stay in that province but still things are not working out or you have got a very good job offer letter in another province Third thing what you can do here is you, if your spouse, if you're married and if your spouse is in another province, you can state that, okay, my spouse is staying in the other province. That is the main reason and I'm going in the other province. The best part would be always inform your province 
well in advance before making a move. If you have any further queries regarding your mobility rights, regarding your movement to another province, feel free to reach out to us on our toll-free number. That is 1-800-419-3242 or alternatively, you can write to us on our email address that is inquiry at the rate winningimmigration.com. Thank you so much for your time. Have a wonderful day.